Who is Mitchie Slick? If you don't know, you about to find out right now. WAC 100 and Mitchie Slick talk about Dago Wars. We finna get into the audio. I definitely don't want to waste you guys' time. Salute to Phoenix and the Beehive. I'll leave a link for her clubhouse in the description below. Let's get right into this audio. Salute to Getty Radio as well. I'll leave a link for his channel in the description below. Let's get it. Right, Mitchie Slick. Right? Mitchie, yeah, no, that's bring family. Mitchie. You know, that's family. Yeah, I just pulled him up. I just yeah, pulled him up. Yeah, that's the homie. That's one of the realest homies in the For sure. Can't stop. Won't he stop. One most, he wanted the most. And Mitchie will tell you, when Wack pushing the line for you, I'm not laying down. Man, this man was banned from doing shows in San Diego. Go pull up Gangland. See, niggas talk that shit. That's Follow me back, Mitchie. This that's Phoenix. I told a nigga the other day, talking that Dago shit. I said, hey, bro. No, what the fuck you think? Them niggas was knocking off them people with them badges you know, like they was flies. Like, mm. this right here, Mitchie Slick was banned from performing in any venues in San Diego. Banned. I tell Mitchie, bro, we coming to your backyard. Need you to grace the stage. He said, whack, they ain't gonna let me grace the stage. But you I'm want bringing me to finish the homies it, to make sure I'm bringing the homies to make sure y'all got safe passage. I said, you getting on the stage. Whack, it's bigger than us. No, it ain't. I get to the venue. I say, yo, Mitch, you need to come in. They go, yo, I need to talk to you. What's up? Yeah, he can't perform. You know, it's the police and the mayors. I say, well, listen, y'all paid me 100000 I got the money. This how this going to go. If Mitchie don't perform, we getting in the sprinters. We going to L.A. No game ain't performing. So y'all let me know what y'all. Hey, listen, whatever loss yeah, you got for me, whatever you going to do, do. This how it go. If Mitchie don't perform, his full set. However long it is, we getting in them sprinters and we going back to L.A. Y'all let me know what y'all want to do. I'm willing to accept what come with that. Mitchie, did they put you on that stage? Hey, I was going to finish the story for you, homie. <laughs> on everything I love, the homie told him, if uh, Slick don't get on, we ain't rocking. I was on that muff in front of that 10,000. Getting <laughs> down. Hey, get that. Oh, Salute hey, to you, though, homie. I got to give you your Mitchie you called me. All the time. Mitchie called me. And you know what? I don't know. And you know, and he know when the Meek Mill shit was going on, we was touring on the East Coast. Mitchie was on the tour. He was he was in his own sprinting and shit. So can't nobody tell Mitchie that we wasn't moving and going where we was going. Cause he was right there. A lot of them know Mitchie called and he get cussed out every now and then. Hey, whack, what did it take to go on the tour? What you mean? You know, I'm willing to I hang the phone up on the that you talking about you gonna pay me. Your money ain't good with us. You know that. <laughs> you know what I'm like, whatever you want to do just come do you know what I'm saying he come to videos and he didn't been to my neighborhood and Mitchie gonna tell you I seen Mitchie in Lancaster with the homies Mitchie came on to, Corkwood uh, he, did the iron out the flag yeah, um, he was at the iron out the flag video he was oh, oh yeah home. yeah yeah got the homies their own trailer he told Mitchie like we got motion our trailer in game he said that's whack he love us <laughs> no. Salute to you, Mitch. For real. Hey, speech. much love, much love, homie. On everything. Salute back to the whole squad. What's going on down there, man? Uh, you you said what's going on in Dago? Everything good? Yeah. Nah, homie, it's real bad right now, homie. It's some shit that doesn't happen that ain't normally went on in San Diego. Motherfuckers think it ain't no Crips in San Diego and all that shit. Oh, it Bro. definitely is. Who said that? Well, you know, it's kind of got that understanding, but right now though, it's like a real crazy little war going on i don't like to publicize this shit, but it's yeah. bad homie it's i've been meaning bad. to call you because i got on the phone the other day with some homies from the line yeah and you know i know what it always been on certain things but then they you know usually the homies from the from ocean view usually kind of be the voice of reason sometimes they usually be the the neutral parties but they shit he's just telling me it been some clicking over here clicking over there i'm like i didn't like to hear it. i was gonna call you you and my light skin homie that's really dark skin see what the f was going on down here yeah i mean it's a little tricky and dago right now the politics in the street is kind of wild because of this rap these little kids and took over whatever little type all of the energy. youngsters so it's Man, chicago these niggas, shit going on these spinning the block after the about song get dropped just rapping about shit, put dead homies on t -sh on their t-shirts and shit like that. All that type of shit going on in San Diego right now, homie. So, you know, we kind of going I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you, bro. And, That's uh, all. I'm right I'm here, gonna, homie. You straight on all sides of it anyway. So, you know, I'm going to call you, make sure everything good down there. You know, I'm always here for y'all. 
on okay. everything. Much yeah. love, homie. You need to you need to send any of them little niggas up to me for whatever reason. Get them out the way. Send them up to me. That's what's up, homie. Should we chop game. All right, for sure. Much love, homie. Yeah, that. All right. Yeah, so <laughs> long relationships right now. Shouts yeah. out to Dago. Yeah, okay. Hey, well, anyway, the, those that don't know, like, we, um, you know, it's a lot of misunderstanding in San Diego about the rap shit. So I went on No Jumper the other day, and uh, a lot of homies felt that uh, I should have said certain things and was having their opinions about what I said or didn't say. And um, I saw that Wood made a comment somewhere else and had got at me. And so, really, um, I, 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 I did the lie for Wood to get on so that. I knew he was going to say some shit and ask me some questions that a lot of people in the town have been thinking because we don't understand the rap game really that much, y'all, in San Diego. So I went on live with Wood, and he said a lot of things that I know a lot of people in San Diego wanted to say. And Cats was real surprised by a lot of my answers. But I wasn't really trying to put Wood out there like that. I was nah, really you trying made, to... you made perfect sense when you when you came, when you said you, you hit everybody with what's the one hood that wasn't in the, in the video. When you did Imperial and when you was when you said you was hit, it's like, like me being from Skyline, you already know the, the opposing end of it. But you know, when you sat down and you was having that conversation, you couldn't say you was wrong. And then nah, you, you can't say you wrong at all. And then nah. that's when that J.O. Felony, Big June, and Mitchie Slick picture popped up. And then we shared that was all like the same day. We shared that shit too. Yeah, yeah. And with that, homie, I just feel like me and J.O. and Big June can't really fix what's going on in Dago because it got to be the niggas that's in the streets that feel, you know, that that's really, I mean, we in the streets, but I'm saying if the young niggas ain't rolling, they ain't on the same page as the G's, then, you know, what do we have? We have a lot of niggas like, you know, feeling like it's good, but it really ain't. And then you you're gonna jeopardize yourself out there in the streets thinking it's good between two hoods and some little nigga that don't give a fuck about that. He done slice your head off, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna front. I just want to pause the audio real quick before we let this joint continue to play off to the end. It's really crazy, man. When I was coming up, you know, the older dudes just kept everybody in line. No younger dudes could just come out of pocket. You had a few scattered here and there, but they weren't finna take over everything. Man, I tell you, things done change. Y'all let me know your thoughts about that. Let's continue this off. I'm gonna let it play off to the end. I'm glad hey, it's Mitch, somebody. I'm, I'm glad I'm it's an older I'm head I'm from I'm Dago I'm up here to let niggas know that Dago ain't the sweet as y'all niggas think. Hey, God. hey, you know it's a trip. I, I, I don't, I don't really get that motherfuckers think Dago is sweet. Only time I get that is when it's somebody that's either ain't never been or they ain't never really in the streets. If you in the streets, then you know it's happening. But if you just, you know, picking up brochures and sh you might get it fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't my mission to prove that Dago ain't sweet. I mean, sh if you don't know, you don't know. Just come to this motherfucker, you'll find out. Hey, yeah. slick, yo. Hey, so what? You do you think we'll if we try to get like each dominant rapper from each section and get them on one song? Kind of like I don't know if you was around when Wack did that uh one blood, one crip, one pyro thing. But if we could possibly, you know, make something happen where we can get a coast nigga, a hood nigga, a Lincoln nigga, a brim nigga, a skyline nigga, or feral nigga, you like do if, if, matter of fact, if we get the top ones, if we can have a conversation in top ones with them, do you think that'll kind of slow this down a little bit? Nah, because I think the rap ain't got, you know, the rap, it ain't, but see, you talking about, the, if you took all the little niggas, I guess, yeah, but if you talking about, I don't know who represents that for everybody. Well, yeah, now, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking about the little niggas, because I, cause oh, honestly, little niggas? they got the shit. Yeah, but that, if we could, yeah, but that's not going to happen right now. It just walked up in my in the most sacred. I'm gonna keep it 100. This I already know. Stupid. I already I already know the, the most story sacred part of, sacred part of my whole neighborhood two three days ago and killed my homeboy son. Shot him 30 times, homie, in, in Bay Vista. Like I'm, that's I'm the type of shit that's going on right now. And then you know the the you know from wherever got knocked down hours Yesterday. before that. So that's the type of games they playing in Dago right now. I don't know. I I, I don't know. These niggas is burnt. They don't give a fuck about no old school relationships between neighborhoods or none of that type of shit. Hoods that ain't never funked before is, is right now. I don't know what it is. I mean, I, I do to a certain degree, but you know, it's, it's, it's the same shit going on everywhere, homie. These little niggas nowadays, it's, it's, uh, it's the rules and the respect for certain shit is no longer there. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was killing and knocking shit down, but at least niggas gonna fight first before they go knock shit down, you know? And it's definitely scary out there. These young boys acting like they are burnt 
out but i never forget that young boys are always young boys not really men and they need that guidance y'all let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section salute to y'all appreciate y'all tuning and keep it locked here at one minute hip hop because we got a bunch more audio coming your way drop a like drop a sub i'll catch you guys on the next video easy y'all